Hi, I'm Jim Barry. I'm the Consumer Electronics Association's Digital Answer Man, and I'm here to talk about tablet computers today. Now, tablets have been actually been around for about 10 years or so, but have gone nowhere except in commercial applications until this baby came along last year. This, of course, is the iPad from Apple, and they have a pretty good track record of jump-starting markets that haven't gone anywhere yet. 10 inches. Now, this gets you right into the 10-inch screen. This gets you right into the Apple operating system and the world of Apple with the typical iPod, now iPad connector. By some counts at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, there were as many as 80 new touchscreen tablets introduced because of the success of the iPad. Now, one of the most popular in the early going this year is the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now this one is a 7 inch screen, so it's a little bit smaller. Uh, this also is a very nice case from Belkin that I have here. And it also had something that the first generation of tabs uh, of iPads did not have, and that is a camera. A lot of folks really like a camera with a tablet computer for things like Skype or, or FaceTime for their personal video conferencing. So the Galaxy Tab has, those of you who have Galaxy uh, or any other Android smartphones will recognize the Android operating system on the Galaxy Tab. All the prices on these are pretty much the same too. Starting these days at around $400 for the iPad 1 is now the iPad 2, which has the, that camera that the first one did. And it's also a little slimmer and a little faster. We also have from ViewSonic the ViewPad, and there's a couple of different sizes of this. Um, this one is the 10 inch. This one is interesting because it uses both that Android operating system. It also uses Windows. So if you use Windows at work, maybe this would be one that gives you that alternative as well. They also have a 7 inch screen. Uh, that's from ViewSonic. So there are a couple of versions there and a variation on the theme using both the uh, Windows and your uh, Android operating system. Now this is the new Zoom, that Zoom with an X from Motorola. As I said, there's more of these coming out all the time. See the screen size on this one is also about 10 inches or so, very light, a little bit over a pound. This uses Android 3.0, also known as Honeycomb. That's the newest of the Android operating systems really designed for tablets rather than for smartphones. So one of the things we're going to see with all of these new competitors to the iPad is where these are going to fall between your smartphone and your netbook or notebook computer. Uh, the price range will start to come down. We're going to have a lot more competitors. As I said, by some counts, as many as 80. Uh, and one of the other questions that I get I asked a lot is, should I buy a Kindle or an iPad? Really, they're asking an e-book reader or a touchscreen tablet. This is the Kindle 3G. The big difference with ebook readers is the e-ink and e-paper. Electronic ink and electronic paper, a couple of advantages there. One, you can read it in bright sunlight. Uh, you can also, um, the batteries last a real long time because it's not backlighting like you get with your touchscreen tablet. So you have the Barnes & Noble Nook, you've got the e-reader from Sony, you've got all these different versions from uh, from Amazon, uh, the Kindle. This is the Kindle 3G. This one I like also because it comes with a very nice case that has a built-in reading light. So I like that. That goes along with that as well. So you have ebook readers that uh, are start at about 125 bucks or so. So the prices are low. Great to read in the bright sunlight. Batteries last for a real long time. If you like to read in color, you like magazines, newspapers, kid book, kids books, and you don't mind about the bright sunlight, then you can read books on your tablet computers. Um, by this time next year, there probably won't be 80 if 80 have been introduced because the market is going to be very, very competitive. Uh, Blackberry's coming out with their rim with their new playbook. Uh, we're going to see a lot more touchscreen tablets. A couple of things to remember. One is the operating system, the other is the inputs, and then also the comparison between ebook readers and touchscreen tablets.